This quest is still in the game, kinda, but it's a way shortened down and altered version of what it used to be. The original quest chain was 13 parts and sent you to various different zones to uncover the secrets behind a mysterious man named Stalvan. I will be going over the vanilla quest chain in this video. The quest would start out like this. Last night, a horrible disturbance rippled through my veins. I sensed that my granddaughter, Alyssa, was in great danger. I consulted the cards, and death stared up at me from the table. After taking a long journey through a dark trance, I was able to uncover a clue to this terrifying mystery. A name came to me. The name of Stalvan. Seek out the clerk in the town hall and see if you can find out more about this character. I fear for us all. Ah, so Madame Eva sent you. Stalvan, eh? Let me check the town registry. Stalvan, Stalvan, let us see. Ah, here we go. I have a record of Mr. Stalvan Mismantle. The last recorded address is the Moonbrook Schoolhouse. My, talk about outdated. Do me a favor, will you, friend? If you happen to go out to Moonbrook, let me know if you get any updates on this fellow. I like to keep the records clean. Now, a little history on Moonbrook to give a little context on the time period all this took place in. Moonbrook was one of the final two towns to fall during the First War. It was rebuilt after the Alliance's victory in the Second War, and then abandoned and seized by the Defias of the Deadmines. It wasn't until Cataclysm the Alliance reclaimed Moonbrook. Now back to the quest. In Moonbrook, you find a dusty letter in a footlocker, which reads, To the Honorable Headmaster Krillian. My former master, I write to you so that you might know what your apprentice has been doing of late. Paying heed to your advice, I sought to build my knowledge and wisdom through travel outside the gates of our beloved Stormwind. My journeys took me to many places, but I have decided to take up residence here, in the lovely town of Moonbrook. The surrounding fields of Westfall are most beautiful as the harvest approaches. Within just a few of days of my visit, I found myself tutoring the local children from the nearby farmlands. The lessons went so well that the town mayor commissioned me to run a school, and construction has begun at a brand new schoolhouse. From Silverpine to Stormwind, and now Moonbrook. Who would have guessed I would see so much of Azeroth? Warm regards, Stalvin Mismantle. Interesting. So the chap did spend some time in Moonbrook after all. It is rather odd the letter never got delivered. Nonetheless, I shall update the registry. Oh my, I must have missed this the first time. In the registry, right beneath the first address for Stalvin, there's another one listed, only partially scratched out. Looks like he was headed to Lion's Pride Inn over in Goldshire. Might want to check there. Stalvin? Sure, sounds familiar. Many years back, on a stormy night, a messenger came in, seeking refuge for the night. Near the stroke of midnight, the man ran down the stairs, screaming, his face pale with fear. Still wearing his bedclothes, he disappeared into the downpour. In his haste, he forgot his letters in the chest upstairs. He never returned for them. One remains from that Stalvin fellow, intended for the canal district in Stormwind. Help yourself to it. Dear noble sir, word of your need for a tutor for your children has traveled to me here in Goldshire, where I take up temporary residence in the Lion's Pride Inn. Due to the unfortunate state of events in the region, I was forced to abandon my post as headmaster of the Moonbrook Schoolhouse. Please accept my application to serve as tutor for your offspring. Headmaster Krillian of the Academy can speak to you of my abilities if necessary. I shall travel to meet you in person when the winter rains subside and the roads are suitable for travel once again. Until then, Stalvin Mismantle of Silverpine. My father was the caretaker of the estate long before I was. He had to mop the blood up after the massacre, but that's neither here nor there. The last funds of the Flint Ridge Trust have dried up. Now the last of the family's possessions are headed for auction. Blame the tax vultures. I guess if you're really itching to learn more, you're free to look around his junk. Who knows what you might find. Inside a crate, you find various objects, musty heirlooms, a family portrait, a few hunting trophies, and some old books. Near the bottom, under a ceramic vase, you uncover a torn journal page. Giles, the boy, seems a bit rambunctious and will be a challenge to educate. However, the elder daughter, Tilua, seems exceptionally smart. I couldn't help but notice her captivating beauty as well. She is on the cups of womanhood now. Supposedly, the Lord has arranged her marriage for next year. But I digress. This week, I will accompany the family to their summer cottage near the Estevan Lodging in Elvwyn, close to the Red Ridge Mountain. I hope to write more while there. There was a bundle of parchments in the chest upstairs when I moved into this place. 
I looked at them once when I first arrived, but I gave up once the fog hazed over my peepers. Do an old, nearly blind man a favor and check the chest upstairs for anything that might help you in your quest to discover more about this Stalvin character. I'm pretty sure there's a faded journal page that might be of interest to you. Bring it to me and I'll help you in any way I can. Most strange and uncontrollable feelings. Never have I felt the way I did today. Whilst assisting Giles with his history lesson, Tilua was outside tending to the flower guardian. After a few minutes, she came inside and placed a scarlet begonia in my open palm and smiled at me in such a way that my heart felt as though it was trembling within my chest. I know of someone who might be able to assist you. Back when I was leading the Stormwind Guard, we used to get drinks at the Scarlet Raven Tavern in Darkshire. The innkeeper there, Smiths, was quite an expert on the local lore. Show him this page and see what he has to say about it. Ah, good old Haggard. Poor chap is going to be completely blind before long. Anyway, let me see what you've got there. I've followed the legend of that Stalvin character for years. When those visiting nobles were slobbered a few years back, I went with Hagger to investigate. I found these muddy pages, but we were never able to link the handwriting to that crazy man in the woods. Your trail of evidence proves his guilt. Take this to Commander Evan Locke immediately and fill her in on what you've discovered. Most certain that she shares the same feelings for me now. She even placed her hand on mine this morning. When she smiles, her eyes light up like glittering diamonds. Unspoken words pass between us. I can feel her in my pounding heart and heated veins. Anger and fury the likes of which I never knew existed. How dare she! As I was instructing Giles in the morning of numbers, Tilua appears before me with a suitor, holding hands in public nonetheless. What an uncough young man. Rather than introduce me properly, Tilua simply said, Oh, that's just my tutor, Uncle Stalvin. He's a nice old man. Old? At that word, my cheeks flushed with heat. I am but a few years older, and yet she betrays. I have had my eye on that creep Stalvin for quite some time, but if this page was written by the same hand, it proves his guilt beyond a shadow of a doubt. In all his days keeping the town registry, Clerk Daltrey has become an expert in identifying handwriting. Show him this page and see if the writing matches that of the registry signature. Downward spiral of despair. First she mocks me, and now she is engaged. The ungracious charlatan was pretending to love when truly she desires to hurt me all along. A black void lurks within me now, and it grows with each waking moment. The blood I shall spill pales in comparison to the tears I have shed. Stolven mismantled led a life of depravity. Innocent victims died by his hands. Undoubtedly, he was guilty of countless crimes. Now the lunatic threatens Darkshire. The light only knows what sordid acts he is plotting. Travel to his cottage just north of town, then execute Stolven once and for all. When the deed is done, travel to Madame Eva and show her his family's ring. After all, it was her premonition that led to this gruesome discovery. But Darkshire is safer because of her. Upon killing the undead Stalvin, I know, Stalvin is dead. I sensed a wave of hope ripple through the tainted forest. Once and for all, Duskwood is free from his bloodthirst. My joy is hampered by the thoughts of those who fell prey to that horrible beast. Nonetheless, you are brave and cunning. The Stalvin quest line is an excellent story of a tutor falling in love with a student because she was nice to him, and he took all of her actions the wrong way. Then when he saw her with her fiancé and was mocked, he went into a murderous rage and killed the whole family. When really, he wasn't even really mocked, he was just a delusion psychopath that took everything over the edge. I was actually pretty surprised Blizzard put a story like this in the game. It's so different and well done from what they usually do. Of course, the new Stalvin quest chain they added in Cataclysm you can do now just blames everything on a warden curse and is super lame. I much prefer the guy takes the girl being nice to him as a sign that she loves him and freaks out when he finds out it wasn't so over warden curse made me do it herby derp. <laughs>